You we were talking about this new pushes towards solventless blends and putting together some of these cultivars in a way that's maybe easier than than others are doing it. What what's going on there? Well, it's not it's not like it's it's not super new because people people have had the desire for orange juice, pineapple juice, and orange pineapple juice for a very long time. But what you're seeing is as more and more people have filtered into the cannabis industry, which is great, and more and more people are doing concentrates, there is a push to make something new, but you don't want to wait like three years to make something new. So at the end of the day, great cannabis comes down to the cultivar. And the cultivar that may be created from a great breeder. So no matter how I could call it the Dutch touch. I could be someone else doing my their own technique. At the end of the day, all credit to the growers. Okay, great. The thing about breeding and then growing out and, and, and searching and all that, that takes a long time. A really good breeder is not putting, you know, just a male and a female and just saying, oh, look, we have a new strain, but rather is doing a lot of work to make sure to, st to stabilize that cultivar. Some of us can't wait that long. So what is good is to know that you really like the flavor of the strawberry, know that you really like the flavor of guava, and provided that the, in terms of washing together, provided that the resin is similar, um, it will wash well together. And the reason why you say provided that the resin is similar, there's some sh uh, cultivars who you will wash shorter amount of time than you would wash other cultivars. So if you're putting them together, you're going to somehow either lose out on the yield or you're going to lose out on the quality. So that's one place where people do, they might wash together. But then the thing about washing together is you can really mess it up. You might press together afterwards. So you've washed the guava by itself. You've washed a, a strawberry uh, by itself. And then liking the smells, you might decide that you're going to press it into like a temple ball together or go further and squish it into rosin together. All of those things, uh, that's, that gives phenomenal new ideas and options for the palate. It's always good. Always good. Hmm. Now, we were talking about growing earlier, mm -hmm. and you mentioned you you were, in, you were in Florida when you got your start, and you had to keep it on the down low, like a lot of legacy growers have done over the years. And obviously, obviously, it's a completely different situation than if you're living under legal uh, grow laws, where it's legal to, to grow a certain amount of plants in, in your home. Mm -hmm. Now, there's more people than than ever in recent history living under new grow laws a lot of people who i'm sure would love to grow a few plants and i think they're intimidated intimidated by the learning curve oh, um what, what what would you say to all these people under new grow laws who whether they've thought about growing their own or not um, what would you say to get them to think about it a little differently Okay, I'm going to acknowledge that it's totally natural to be a little bit like, wow, this is a whole new world. Maybe, maybe this isn't quite right for me. But growing is for everybody. Growing is it for everybody because one of the things that's nice about growing is that it allows you to have this relationship with the medicine that you're going to be consuming. And best believe it's medicine across the board. If you have no ailments at all, but you smoke cannabis not but, and you smoke cannabis and you feel just a little bit better, well, honey, that was a mood enhancer. So it's medicine across the board, okay? The relationship you have with what you put in your body really heightens the experience of having that smoke. So now you're in a place that cannabis might be legal or medical, and it just seems like there's so much that you can do. The, first, the best thing I can do is tell you that it's called weed for a reason. Weed, weeds grow everywhere. So the biggest thing that you could do to mess up this whole thing is just overwater. That's it. Besides that, cannabis wants to grow. Cannabis has co-evolved with us and you can do it. Pot, some soil. You don't even need fertilizer because we're not pro that because we're organic. Seeds, 
If you feel a little bit nervous, you can even try going with clones. You can go to your neighborhood dispensary and they will already have the plant already ready for you. So you just have to repot it. The thing about it is don't feel badly if you're going, if you feel like you're going to mess up. I've been growing for a long time. I got to tell you, my first three years of, of growing weed was terrible, mainly because I didn't have mm. the opportunity to talk to people. So that's the thing that people have right now. You have an immense opportunity to say, look at the, this leaf. Should it look like this? Is this a male? Is this a female? So take advantage of that and know that many people are here to help you. So please grow your own. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow,